Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm back with another tiny house and this is part of my zodiac series where I'm going through and creating tiny homes based on all of the zodiac signs and we're doing them in order of when they're happening in real life. So we are currently in Pisces season. So this is going to be our Pisces tiny house. Pisces is the final or 12th astrological sign in the zodiac and it falls between February 19th and March 20th. So you are a Pisces if you were born between those two dates. And when I say it's the final sign, I don't mean the final one we're going to do on the channel. It's just the order they go in. It happens to be the final sign, but we're nowhere near done. No worries on that. If I haven't gotten to your sign yet, there's still plenty more coming. Uh, but as I do in every video, I am going to put the disclaimer right here that this is based on the stereotypical characteristics of a Pisces based on the research I have done. By no means is this going to cover every single person who happens to be a Pisces. Uh, it's just a really fun way to come up with a concept for a build, a personality to build for. And I've been having a lot of fun with this series and it seems like y'all have been enjoying it as well. So with that being said, I decided to build this over here in Brindleton Bay near the beach. My first thought was Sulani, but I thought it would be a little bit nicer to build here a little bit further away from the beach. It's literally right there, but instead of on top of the water, we're a little bit further away. And I did that because I really wanted to incorporate some more coastal vibes to this house, have it be a little bit more calming and use a lot of blues and whites and greens. There were quite a few colors that I found when I was doing my research that were um, associated with this sign, but I also didn't really want to make it just boho and pastel. I wanted it to be a little bit more neutral in that regard. It ends up having a ton of blue in it, but I felt like that was just a little bit more versatile than like light pastel colors. So just trying to figure out the exterior of this build right now. The shape has pretty much come together and I knew I wanted to have this green or bluish roof. And I remembered that these fences from the high school years debug catalog existed and I just thought they looked so nice here. They're just so detailed and they felt kind of artistic which was something I definitely wanted to represent in this build. That was something that kept coming up everywhere when I was looking at characteristics and personality and all of that of those who are Pisces. It kept mentioning creative, artistic, and like careers in the arts. So I definitely wanted to lean into that a little bit and I was imagining that the sim that lived here was an artist. You'll see I be, will be placing a easel outside in a little bit. I also end up adding a guitar inside because that was another thing that came up with the creative aspect of these people or sims <laughs> is that uh, a lot of Pisces tend to be quite musical. So I did include that and as you can see I'm trying to figure out the exterior on where I want the different rooms to be in regards to where the beach is. So I have this like big glass window, but I'm actually gonna rotate the whole lot. So now that's not facing the beach anymore, but I feel like it's fine because it's still a really pretty, you know, view of like the trees and all of that. But I do add another room over on this side, which is going to be the bedroom that has a couple of big windows looking out at the beach and they have their own like little private deck space that I'm going to put a few loungers on that do face the beach. I just thought it looked a little bit nicer in this orientation on the lot and it's not something I've really done before. I always build this lot like the orientation it's supposed to be in. So uh, if you do want to grab this from the gallery, it's going to look sideways uh, because I technically placed it sideways on the lot, but I just, I liked how it looked. You can let me know what you think, but if you would like to grab this lot, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. But anyway, now that, you know, the, the bulk of the exterior is done, let's talk a little bit about Pisces. So they are compassionate and artistic, often deeply emotional and empathetic, and it's often said that they can be a little bit psychic. And the sign of Pisces, it's a water sign, like I mentioned, it is the last constellation of the zodiac, and it's symbolized by two fish that are swimming in opposite directions, which is super cute, but it's kind of supposed to represent a constant division of uh, Pisces' attention between, like, fantasy land and reality. And I think that works really well for an artistic sim because you're just always thinking all of these creative thoughts. I have been a art student my whole life. I worked in graphic design. And now I do this. And I think it's just a really creative career path. And I, I can relate to that, even though I'm not a Pisces. But it was really fun to kind of delve into that mindset to create this build. 
Um, I also read that Pisces are often very um, big animal lovers. So in addition to this sim being by the beach, being artistic, I also made sure they had a dog, which I thought was really cute. And I used like a lot of more like ocean themed colors, if that makes sense, like blues, whites, beiges, and greens, which I had mentioned earlier. I have so much random information written down about Pisces. Not all of it is going to be super um, applicable to this build, but I did, you know, dive into a couple of the things that inspired aspects of this build and some of the decisions that I did make. So just a couple more things about Pisces. I think I'm going to read this like exactly as I found it online because I'm not exactly sure how to paraphrase this, but a mutable sign Pisces effortlessly adapts to their surroundings. These visionary fish have unparalleled access to collective consciousness through their clairvoyance and make incredible artists and creatives. Kind and gentle, they're invigorated by shared experiences of music and romance. Any relationship with mystical Pisces is guaranteed to involve deep spiritual exploration. Uh, so you can see where I got some of the ideas of creativeness and music uh, that was not the only bit I found about that information. I saw that everywhere, uh, but I was just like look, looking at a bunch of different things while I was building this, and then I ended up jotting down a couple of notes and copying, pasting some paragraphs into a notepad uh, to, you know, reference as I was talking about uh, this build because I just think it's easier that way. I tend to not specifically write things down as I'm building. I'm like actively researching as I'm building and coming up with ideas. And I think it's really fun. I really enjoy this series. I have a few different series going on the channel right now that involve a bit more research. We have this one. There's also a state series. I'm also doing tiny houses for various uh, townies in the game, which is really fun. I should be having another one of those up this week as well. And, uh, I just find all of those really exciting. I also enjoy just random builds as well. And there's always plenty of those. And there will be lots of like family themed homes coming up soon as we are getting growing together added to the game next week. Uh, and the infant update, I'm so excited. But anyway, you can see the uh, colors in here are very simple. We only have a few different colors going on and I adore the layout in here. I decided to use this stand for the TV that is a bunch of luggage because I had also read that Pisces are very interested in travel. You can see here I'm starting to add some dog stuff. We have some dog treats. I added a calendar, adding a little dog bed as well, and we'll get some leashes by the door. I also popped in that guitar I had mentioned I was going to add, and we got some shoes and stuff over here as well. And uh, another nod to that love for travel, I put that world map over here, but uh, this is going to be the desk space. It's kind of a weird layout in here, but I really like it. There's like this little hallway where this desk is that leads you into the bedroom, which I think works really, really nicely. I also have a fish tank over here because, you know, Pisces, they're, they're, they're symbolized by fish. So I thought I should have a fish tank, although I feel like you should have a much bitter, bitter, bigger fish tank than that. You don't just have like a fish bowl, but um, that's what we had room for in here. And I did have a couple of comments being like, please include a fish tank. Uh, so I wanted to include that. Uh, but if you could find space, I would recommend the one from Cats and Dogs. It's like more of an aquarium that is much better of a enclosure for fish. And um, I don't know why I get so passionate about it in The Sims because they're not real. But I'm like, this is not proper pet care. Uh, and I, I do that a lot when it comes to different animals in The Sims for whatever reason. But anyway... Uh, we are in the bedroom now and I'm adding some more like maps and stuff to symbolize that love for travel. I also have a set of canvases that are drying next to the bed as like additional art storage. I just think it was so cool to try and combine all of these things into this space and have a few different interests involved. Uh, I feel like a lot of times when I'm reading about the Zodiacs, a lot of them feel very similar, but I also at the same time feel like I'm getting very different builds out of all of these descriptions. Uh, so it has been really fun. And um, speaking of that, the next zodiac sign we are going to be tackling is Aries, which starts on March 21st. So if you yourself are an Aries or you know an Aries, 
uh, or just have any tips that you think are going to be fun things to include in that build, please do let me know. I'd love to read your suggestions. Uh, I always take that into account in addition to all of the research I do. Um, I uh, read all of the tips like, please do or don't include this. And, you know, I take it with a grain of salt, but I do get a lot of ideas from y'all as well. So if you have any Aries ideas, do let me know. But anyway, this is going to be the bathroom. It's pretty simple in here. Uh, nothing too exciting to talk about. It's pretty small. I kept the same color scheme going in here as well. I really wanted those coastal vibes, so I did use the sink from Cats and Dogs. I think it worked quite nicely. And I was talking about Aries at the moment, so I didn't I didn't mention it, but on the little porch outside, you probably saw I placed down a garage door, which is a little odd, but the reason I did that is I wanted a space for your Sims to be able to paint murals, uh, kind of diving more into that artistic side. But the wall murals that are not on the garage door are so much bigger, so the garage door was the best way to still include that in that space. So that's why I did that. But out here over on the side yard, I also added uh, the easel, some more like artsy stuff, a couple places to sit down. We also have a grill and a table and chairs. <laughs> it's just like a cozy space. I also decided to add an aqua zip and a bike because in addition to that desire for travel, I read a lot about desire for adventure. So I thought you know, taking that out on the water <laughs> would be really fun. And it just felt like it fit the personality I was trying to create for this house. I thought that that was a fun addition. And then we're just going to be finishing up landscaping here, adding some trees and bushes and stuff. I tried to incorporate plants that I saw around the world to try and make it blend in as best as possible right here over on the beach. Uh, but that is pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified of every single time a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the screenshots. Bye everyone.